and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and I'm here with a new planner today and I'm talking like a new planner. I mean I've had it for a few months now but I haven't planned in it. It's this really cute like pets planner but I bought it kind of thinking it might be a fun planner when I like was ordering planners for the new year. Didn't use it as a fun planner you know like just to make spreads or like do a demo and that kind of stuff on my channel. And then when it was like December gearing up for this like planner, I was like, oh, this is the planner that I'm going to use once I get a full time job. Once I get hired somewhere, this is going to be my work planner. Well, that hasn't panned out quite yet. I'm still working on the job application front. Um, so I have this blank planner that I had such high hopes for. And now it's like almost June and the planner hasn't been touched. But things have a way of working themselves out because... I have been slacking off on my social media planner. I've been making spreads in it and just not filling them out. I've been skipping weeks and just not decorating. I have been decorating and then maybe filling out half of it and just like not finding peace in that social media planning system. So I figured, you know, maybe we give it a switch up this week. Maybe that's the issue is that I just need a little bit of a format change. Maybe the dashboard is a little too strict of a layout with like checklists and everything has its own spot. And this is where it goes week after week after week. And I think that's kind of why I was getting bored with it. It's just not as flexible as a vertical in my opinion, at least to me it's not. And Maybe if you're someone who's planning out social media and you need a little bit more of like a schedule or like a like a structure to it, that would be perfect for you. But I've just been like not finding planner piece there and I thought I'd just give this a try because I have the planner on hand and I might as well use the pages while it's still like the right dates at the top of the pages. So I'm going to take May 22nd through 28th and I'm going to do a social media spread and I love the little pink stars down the middle of this. I went to Joann's and I found some really fun paper crafting stuff the other day. Jen Hadfield has this new flower child collection. They only had the paper at my store. They didn't have the ephemera or anything like that. I didn't like the washi as much. I wanted the ephemera for it, but they didn't have it. They had this paper pad though, and I think these patterns are so fun, so retro, very 1970s, and I think that's kind of that's the vibe this summer, I guess. I've been doing a lot of fun retro stuff in my sticker shop. This just seems to line up. I love this cassette sheet. And I think that's going to be my theme for today. I'm going to do cassettes. And when I saw this, I thought of this Happy Planner sticker book, which I haven't touched yet, which is Sunshine Vibes. And there are some cassettes in this one as well. Also, these really fun quotes with the like checkered background. I like those. Maybe I'll work some of those in. I'm excited to see what like a new switch up on the system holds. So here's some cassettes and they're a little bit more plain. So I think it could be fun to layer them with the more patterned ones. I've got those. I pulled a few washi tapes. These are, um, this one is from another American Crafts collection. This is the Obed Marshall one. And I feel like these rainbow stripes match well with the color palette. It's very just like it's funky, you know. We're doing all sorts of rainbow colors. And then I wanted an accent one. So I grabbed this one, which I think is another American Crafts one. It's just like polka dots. I think this one is a Maggie Holmes one. And then this one that's like a little waffle pattern, pink and gold, is from the Archer and Olive Simply Gilded collab. I don't know if I'm going to use all three of the washies, but I pulled them just in case. And then the other thing that I wanted to try out today, because we're just trying out all sorts of new stuff. You know, the best way to get out of a planner funk is just maybe just swap it up you know it doesn't have to be the same week after week after week i'm just gonna change it out i got this while i was in dc it was gifted to me by my planner friend who was at the conference and she had an extra one of them she ended up with an extra one of them this is the narrative hues it used to be girl boss anna like swatch washi tape and it's like divided into little sections with perforated marks so you can like rip these swatches off and i thought these could be fun for little headers so I grabbed that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off the disc and we will get started. I feel like I can make a spread in this fairly fast just because of the classic size. And I haven't used a classic size in a long time. Like, yes, I'm using a seven by nine as my daily planner. But for some reason, looking at this classic vertical, it just feels like so small. It's smaller than I remember this planner being. And I used to be like, um, like an all classic planner gal. And now, I don't know. I'm in the big planner and this feels so miniature. It's adorable. 
I'm going to start with some washi tape. I whited out that little icon with the cat up there just because I didn't necessarily want that there. I have been using the dashboard layout as my social media planner for longer than I can remember, like two or three years worth of dashboard planner, and it has served me well. I'm not going to hate on the dashboard planner because it definitely had like a place in my heart. I loved my dashboard planner, but it's just not doing what it needs to do right now, especially because my life is kind of in flux right now as I'm job hunting and not really sure what the future of things looks like because social media is not my full-time job. Um, and it's weird because I don't have a full-time job. It's like the sticker shop takes up a portion of my life. The social media takes up a portion of my life. And then I work part-time retail to like have some security of like making sure that uh, I do get a paycheck. And if things don't go well with the Etsy shop that month, then there's like that added security blanket. It's also just nice to get out and socialize. But I feel like it's difficult to be in this state of flux where... I'm doing different things every single day. Social media is important to me. I have a lot of fun doing it, but it's also just not my full-time job. And I don't get paid to post on Instagram. So, and I get paid very, very little here on YouTube. Like I'm talking $20 a month for all the videos and stuff and ad revenue. Um, so it's not, it's not a job. It's just like all of the money that I make here on the YouTube channel goes back into supplies. Are they doing maintenance outside again? Ugh. So much noise this week. Basically, all of the money that I make from my YouTube channel comes back in the form of craft supplies that I then make YouTube videos with. So it's a never-ending cycle of just, like, it, it fuels this part of the hobby. Um, the Etsy shop is my, like, main, main thing, but also it's just, it's unpredictable. Running a small business is unpredictable, and I don't, necessarily like that instability and this is becoming a little too deep for a social media plan with me so lighten it up let's add some cute little cassette stickers into this spread oh i like the way that they go all the way to the edge with the color that is perfect especially because i'm going to layer them together like this this is so fun and bright i love this okay i'm gonna just add some more stickers the message being if you're not finding planner piece and do I believe there's such thing as planner piece? Maybe. I think I found planner piece in my big vertical catch-all planner. That is my planner piece. And to an extent, the daily, the plum paper daily is also my planner piece. Like those are the two planners I know work for me. The social media has always kind of been on the fritz. So don't make, don't be afraid to make a change. And you know, it's fun to try new things. I'm going to take another one of these. Some of these cassettes have little prompts on them. Like this one says on this day. This one says you are dot dot dot. And then there's like some lines to write it in. Kind of like titling a mixtape. That's adorable. I could write on this and make it look a little bit like a mixtape. That could be fun. I love just all of these fun rainbow colors for summer. I think it is so cute. And I'm not normally someone who plans with a lot of rainbow colors in their planner. I tend to stick more to like monochromes. I think that's like my comfort or like a limited color palette, but yeah, you gotta do a good rainbow every once in a while. So this is fun, it's bright, it's summery. And I think it's like, I'm not going to be doing super bright rainbow color palettes in winter. That's just not exactly how I feel. But in summer, I think I have a little bit more space to do something like this. I'm going to put this between the two pages. We will grab. Okay, so some of these are tasks and some of them are like more quote like. Hang out with friends. Go for a nature walk. Enjoy the sunshine. Family time is the best time. I feel like I could do the enjoy the sunshine one and it would work, but the other ones are just like not super applicable to what I'm working with. Are there more cassettes elsewhere? We've got this one that says Summer Jams Volume 10. It's unclear, so I don't know how well it's going to layer over the other one, but let's give that a shot. So this one is like a legitimate like mixtape. Okay, that looks a little wonky layered over the washi tape. Could just do like this. 
so that the color doesn't show through it as much. That's not bad. I maybe should have used a white gel pen to get rid of some of the lines behind it, but I, it's fine. I do feel like these flowers are going to have to make an appearance in this spread, so we'll start with these ones. Maybe not the yellow one in the cluster that's both yellow and orange. Let's put that over here and then go with green up there, just so we have a variety of colors kind of coming into the clusters. I'll take this little pink one. I'm, I'm sure there's more of these flowers somewhere in this book. I haven't done much of a flip through of it, but I'm sure there's there's got to be more. If they have only three flowers in this whole sticker book, I would be amazed. They're doing construction out in the hallway and they're painting, they're repainting the hallway. They have some kind of like mobile ladder that is on wheels. I went out to check because I thought the fire alarm was going off at first. Um, they've got this like mobile ladder situation that like has a control pad that you can back up, but whenever they back it up, it makes that backing up noise, like the beep, beep, beep. I thought it was the fire alarms at first. So I went outside, the next door neighbor went outside. Everybody's outside trying to figure out what is going on out here, but they are painting the hallways on some like ladder on wheels. I don't know. Whatever gets the job done, I guess. But they also started like scraping away at the walls at like 8.30 and it's a Monday morning. So like I'm tired. Um, oh well, I'll live. It's got to be done sometime, and I was complaining about it because that's what I do. I complain about stuff. I was complaining about it to my boyfriend, and he's like, "You know, they do have the right to work starting at 7 a.m., right?" So this is this is even like this is a courtesy to you, and I'm like, "Okay, you're right." Um, would not be happy if they were out at 7 a.m. on a Monday morning trying to wake me up. I was out kind of late last night for a hockey game watch party anyway, so. Happy they picked 8.30 and still, instead of 7. I guess that's the bright side to this. Here are some more of the flowers, and we got some big ones on this page, and also some tiny ones. Yay for some variation. Will I regret using all of these flowers in this spread? Maybe, um, but I've done that before where I've avoided using the flowers that I want to use because I'm like, oh, I'm going to want to use these when I plan with this sticker book in my catch-all. And then I never plan with the sticker book in my catch-all because other stickers come along. And the catch-all, I think, is more small shop stickers than anything. I don't use a whole lot of Happy Planner ones in that anymore. I used to. Um, but I feel like I can get more of that, like, layered paper crafting effect with small shop stickers. And I like to do a little bit more junk journal-y inspired catch-all spreads in that. With the social media, on the other hand, I think this is a fun place to try out my Happy Planner books work through my Happy Planner stash. That's also up there on that to-do list. I'm gonna add these petals just over here that I cut off from the other side. So it's fun to mix and match. And I like this spread because I am mixing my paper crafting stuff with my Happy Planner stuff. Okay, we got some flowers in there. I think this is looking very bright. I'm gonna cut these apart so it's not one big page thing going on. I don't think I need any more of these cassettes, so I'm gonna save these for another project because they're so cute. I'm not gonna throw those away, obviously. Oh, there's so many of these flowers. I mean, not like the small size, but you get a lot of them. So originally I thought I would use those like checkered quotes, but they're pretty big. And I keep forgetting that I'm planning in a classic size and not a big size planner. So I need to scale down. I can't do all of that, but these rainbow quotes, those are fun. I've said it before, I don't know when summer starts. I have no concept of that, but we're gonna put summer mood in here. I'm just gonna peel them all up. Let's grab all of those stickers. We've got summer lists, this week's activity list. Those are really fun, especially because I will be doing lots of activities this summer. That is my favorite part of summer is like getting out and doing stuff that you can't otherwise do in the Midwest in the middle of the winter because it's just cold and the roads are snowy and yeah, that kind of thing. I'm going to move this flower over here so I can add vitamin C into that cluster. Summer mood is going to go in this one. And I'm trying not to cut off the text that's on the cassettes. I am of the age where I do vaguely remember cassettes. Um, cassettes were not like the cool like media when I was a child. 
like Walkman, Discman kind of things where CDs were big. Um, like Discmans are not a form of media. Uh, CDs were what I grew up with mostly, but I do remember cassettes and I do remember playing cassettes. Um, but I got my first iPod when I was in like middle school. So that that's how I feel about cassettes. I think they're cool. Um, same thing with v VCRs and VHS tapes. I I lived with VHS tapes for a very long time, but DVDs were kind of the prime media of my childhood. So it's fun to do these cassettes. I know they're not too distant of a past, but when you make them all rainbow, they just get a little bit more retro, I guess. So this is feeling pretty fun um, in terms of clusters. However, we gotta make it functional. First of all, I'm gonna take my crocodile and make it functional in that it will go back onto the discs. So I'm gonna punch these pages. I feel like these disc punches are shorter than the ones in my big planner. I don't know why. I feel like the big size planner, they dip into the page a little bit more. Maybe it's because of the stability of the larger planner. Weird, okay. Oh, I messed that one up. Oops. We'll just punch it again. Should be fine. It'll go back into the planner just fine. Now I gotta like figure out how to do functional stuff in here. So I like doing these plan with me's in a new planner for the first time on the channel. So you can just watch me figure it out myself. If I figure it out off camera, I don't think it's as fun. I'm gonna take the swatched washi tape from Narrative Hues. It has like that blocky rectangle around it, but I think since it's clear, it should just blend into the page. Today is filming. I'm really working on filming today. It is Monday. I am filming today. And normally when I was using that uh, dashboard planner, I would have just one list for filming, one list for editing, and then just like some other to-do lists. I'm going to try to divide this out and just put the list of filming stuff on the day that I'm filming. So taking these according to Allie stickers and layering that. You can use my code Caitlin10, my affiliate code Caitlin10 to save 10% off at according to Allie. So I'm gonna put that there. I'd like a checklist. Let's see if there are any checklists in this sticker book. There's like full boxes of checklists. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. What color do we want over here? I feel like this teal might be fun. Pretty orange and yellow up there. So let's go with this checklist and I'm not going to pay too much attention to the boxes. It is a nice welcome difference from planning in the big planner where the checklists actually fit into the boxes in the planner because I'm using classic stickers in a big planner and it does not match up. Like the checklist is like a centimeter shorter than the box. So it's nice to have it like that. Um, I don't think I'm going to film more than three things today though. So maybe I should just cut it off here and then I'll have room to put my Instagram posts for today. Normally I just use bullet points to mark my Instagram posts. I don't know if there's bullet points in this particular sticker book though. So I'm going to film today and then I also need to film later on in the week. Let me look at my schedule and see what is the most likely day of filming. Not that it needs to be on the day that I film. If, if we have checklists, they can just get checked off when the tasks get done. That's not the end of the world to me. I think these are all the same color on the swatches, which I like. I've got a free day on Saturday, so I'm going to put the other one here, which will be nice because I'm going to get some editing done like this week and the next week. I want to get a bunch of videos prepped and uploaded for my YouTube channel just ahead of time. I put the checklist down to the end of the box on Monday. So let's just put that all the way down to that corner. And then I'll maybe just move this. If this will peel up, I'll move this a little lower so that it's not necessarily attached to the cluster above it. Let's drop that down. And it's nice that it is like in this rectangle because I can use that edge to line it up with my checklist. That's that's pretty nice. The only downside to this like system is that I think I'm probably going to use more of these according to Allie stickers. Bad for my wallet, better for Allie, I guess. Um, so let's put another film sticker here on Saturday. That is looking good. I do need to edit some videos this week, so let's add another one in for that. This is kind of fun, and it's just a welcome change. I am having a good time with this. 
let's add this one up to the top of Wednesday. I don't, again, I don't know if I'm going to be editing videos on Wednesday. I will probably be editing videos this afternoon, but if it's a checklist, I can just check the things off when they get done. Doesn't matter if I'm checking them off on Wednesday or I'm checking them off on Friday or I'm checking them off on Monday. Um, as long as they're there and written in the planner so I can keep on top of the things that I'm working with, all good by me. I'm going to take this one that is like a little orange checklist and we're going to place that here. Should I cut it down or should I just have like this one long checklist? I don't know if I like, well, I don't hate it. We'll go with that. And then anything that gets filmed on Saturday, I'll probably just write back on Wednesday. Not the end of the world. So those are like my get it done kind of lists. Um, oh, but my sticker release is also on Wednesday. Let's put some boxes in for that. I'm going to cut this list a little bit shorter. Sorry, I thought this was going to be a fast video because the planner's smaller, but I think it's also a long video because I just have a lot going on with this right now. There's like new things to try, new things to talk about. And figuring out a new system is a little bit of an adjustment. But at the same time, it's a race against the clock because my phone battery is not having it today. This is also like the third thing I've filmed this morning. And yes, I am going to back plan this. Um, so everything that I filmed this morning, I'm going to put on that checklist that I just put on Monday because I like to feel accomplished. So if I have an editing day on Wednesday, I'll put one on Sunday because there's a film one on Saturday, I guess. Or maybe I could just place it somewhere else. We could do Friday. I'm going to line that up with the corner. And then stack this right on top. And I think each section of this, like including the clear portion that's around the swatch, matches up exactly with the width of a classic vertical column. So that's really, really nice that it works out that way. I'm sure she put a lot of thought into stuff like that, but it's cool when that stuff works out like it, like, um, like it's meant for the planner feel like the classic vertical is one of the most popular, so that's why that would be the length. But even if it were a little bit longer, it wouldn't really matter to me too much. So we've got this. Um, my release is on Wednesday. And JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop also has a release on Wednesday. So I'll grab some boxes for that just to mark them in my planner. JoJo's is at noon. Mine is at 1 p.m. Central Time. This video will not go live before that. This video will go live probably the following week. Um, but it's nice to have those things just noted in my planner. So we've got those. Other than that, I don't think I have any other social media responsibilities. I just need to find some bullet points to mark when I'm posting stuff on Instagram because I want to be able to like bullet point out, I'm posting a picture of my catch-all today. I'm posting a picture of this today. There are these little like flowers, but I don't think that's the size that I want as bullet points. We've got some checklists that I could like cut down if I really wanted to, but I'm just looking for straight up bullet points, which this book does not seem to have. I managed to find blush in it, which has some pink bullet points in it. I cannot find books that have bullet points in them for the life of me, but these are gonna have to do. So I went ahead and put basically one on every single day of the week to do my Instagram stuff. I don't know exactly how I'm going to mark up my YouTube schedule because when I was working in the dashboard, I had that section up at the top that had like the weekly overview and I would write my videos in there. Um, for this, I don't know. Maybe I need to like use the sidebar for that. I could just figure it out. Um, not the end of the world, but it'll be fun to plan in this and fun to just try something different. I think I'm going to leave it at this for now, and then once I write in it, it might shift around a little bit, but for the most part, this is kind of what I'm dealing with for the social media spread. I'm going to go ahead and pop this back on the discs. So this is what I've got for my social media spread this week. I put it back into the planner. It feels a little weird to just stick it back into the middle of a planner that is not used. Um, I'll have to figure that out for myself eventually. Maybe I'll just put it on like different discs and just only keep the days that I'm working with in here. I don't know. But I'm going to give this week a shot and see how it works out for me. And hopefully this is 
a good system and I could just work with it. But otherwise, I don't know, maybe I'll have to figure something else out for social media. But it's fun to grow and evolve and figure out what works for you in your planner system. I'm very happy with this spread. I think it is too cute. Um, there are some things that I'm going to need to work out, but I think the only way to work them out is by actually writing in it. So I'm going to just probably fill this out because today is Monday. I got to get today on the on the books. But there you have it, this fun cassette spread in my social media spread. I was going to say social media dash dashboard, but it, that's not the case anymore. Um, in a social media spread. I use the Jen Hadfield uh, scrapbook paper from Joann's and then the whatever it's called. Okay, so it's Flower Child for the scrapbook paper and Sunshine Vibes was the sticker book. The swatches are from Narrative Hues. I will try to link them down below. The headers are according to Allie. And this is what I've got for my social media planner. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me over on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning.